Yo guys, Sam here, and Apple's crazy January continues to go even wilder with some new products, including a new HomePod and some fresh accessories. This is really unprecedented considering it's January, and I can't remember the last time new products have dropped in this month. And uh, starting out with the new HomePod, you might look at this and say, this seems familiar. Didn't, um... Didn't Apple have a HomePod? There was, and that one dropped in 2018, but sometime in the last year or two, apparently due to a high price and poor sales, Apple discontinued it. So while I've been using that OG HomePod forever, I'm just shocked that they brought it back today because it has new features, including apparently better audio quality, they've upgraded some Siri stuff, and I'm just, I'm a little shocked as well. Just like two Apple release days back to back. Okay, let's really dive into what's new here. So first of all, aesthetically, it comes in two colors, black and white, but Apple says that there is an entirely new process made of recycled material to make the fresh black or midnight color, and that wraps around a pretty familiar body. A body that now has a larger screen on the top here, which looks pretty nice, but it also just looks like it does colors. Again, it's not like an actual display here. It's just a bigger version of the LED stuff we got on the old HomePod full size, and it's back again on the new size HomePod. It's bigger, which is cool. I just, functionality wise, I was expecting a bit more five years later. So on the outside, it looks pretty similar, but Apple says that there's a lot that's changed on the inside. There are five different tweeters and four different microphones, which is um, also weird because the old HomePod had, I think, six tweeters and four microphones. So they've like removed stuff, but apparently it's it's supposed to sound really good. Now I have the old HomePod, so I'm gonna test this. It's just weird that they're removing hardware and re-releasing a product that failed at the, basically the same price. I'm a little confused about this product in general just because the more that I'm looking at it, um, I, I am brain fogging, but let's continue on. While we're talking about what's on the inside, there is a new S7 chip here, which is great because the old HomePod, if you were still using it, was getting super slow. It was obviously a chip from pre-2018. So to see Apple put what is, I think, the latest chip in the Apple Watch in here to power it, that is good for longevity, and that means that these should last quite a long time into the future. I guess one of the more interesting parts about this HomePod that Apple talks about is this feature called room sensing, where it can recognize sound bouncing off of walls and optimize sound in real time. So even if you move it around your house, it can use the mics like a little bat flying around to figure out where it, the sound should be pushed the best using the speaker setup. And it sounds like magic, but I had the same reaction when the initial HomePod came out. I was really skeptical about Apple's claims and then I tried it out and the sound was actually really impressive to this day, still impressive for the original. The other big new feature here seems to be this thing called sound recognition, where Apple says your HomePod could detect a carbon monoxide or smoke detector sound and then let you know that something is going on. Which actually sounds genuinely useful if you had a HomePod in your basement and something was going off there that you couldn't hear all the way upstairs on your second floor where you might be sleeping. Like this could actually save people's lives and give you a push notification on your iPhone or let you know on other HomePods that something wrong has been detected. Okay, really quick, people are sleeping so I have to be quiet, but I noticed another feature on that last webpage that Apple didn't even talk about. Inside of the new HomePod, there is a temperature and humidity sensor, so you can now get the temperature of your room through your HomePod and even make automations based on that. Which is the biggest feature in this entire new HomePod, and they didn't even mention it in the press release. Like, this is huge. It's, it's actually built in secretly to the HomePod mini as well and rolling out. I'm just so confused why Apple didn't even talk about it. That's that's like the coolest thing here. That's the most functionality and it's a footnote on the website. But the mesh is 100% recycled. <laughs> And finally, if you're into the smart home stuff, there is Matter support. So this is gonna integrate with a bunch of other devices and third-party apps and services, which is great because one of the problems with the first HomePod, you didn't have Matter. This is the new standard that Apple has been putting into a lot like the new Apple TV. So that is built in natively here. But um, I gotta say, I'm happy it's here. <laughs> I'm really excited to hear how it sounds, but it seems like it's got less hardware than the last one. It weighs less as well. I think it's like a half pound lighter or something. It doesn't really add a whole lot of new features and it's in the same two colors. 
at launch. Like it doesn't come in multicolors, it's in black and white. So I just gotta pose this question. If the first HomePod fails because it costs between $299 and $350 and it had all of these same attributes as this new HomePod with essentially no change. How is the fate of this gonna be any different than the other HomePod? Like I genuinely thought Apple was taking all of this time, they took it off the market to fundamentally reinvent this speaker, which is a great sounding speaker, but was really weird on the smart functionality side. Siri has sucked. And then this new version is just the same thing. I swear I'm having deja vu. This is weird. This is really weird. And I don't know, I don't know what, what's up. It, it kind of feels like a prank. Is Apple pranking us with this HomePod? It's like, it's not bad. It's just not any different, really. I mean, I'll, I'll test it out and let you know, but that's the vibe. Regardless, orders for the new HomePod are open right now and it ships on February 3rd. So just a couple of days after the new MacBook Pro and new Mac Mini. That's not all Apple dropped. Also available for order right now is the new black Unity Apple Watch Band. And the design this year is a lot less flashy than in previous years, but I'd actually argue it's more wearable long-term. While I really like the designs of the Apple Watch black Unity Bands in the past, they have been quite statement pieces. I think for a lot of folks, it's like, I don't really know if I wanna wear this super bright thing on my wrist. But this new version, it just has a red stripe on the left, green on the right, and a really cool design going down the middle of the band. It has the word Unity woven into the design and there's an accompanying Apple Watch face as well as matching iPhone wallpaper, which is just really cool that Apple is doing that this year, that should be available next week when iOS 16.3 comes out. And of course, when you buy this band, because it is the Black Unity edition, you're also supporting organizations around the world, including the Art Gallery of New South Wales, the Ghetto Film School, Music Forward, Shout Music Press, and the National Museum of African American Music. These are the five institutions that Apple says they are supporting when you purchase this band. And last thing I wanna to touch on is that we did get the release date for iOS 16.3. As I talked about, it's gonna be next week. So uh, just in a couple of days, actually sometime in January, which makes sense. New Macs just came out. Now we have new watch stuff along with the new HomePod. You obviously need to update to take advantage of the new features. And I leave this video saying that I am, uh, I'm really excited. I love the new Black Unity Sport Loop Band. It's gonna feel really nice and fuzzy, support some great stuff. I am confused though by the HomePod. As I said before, I'm not gonna make any final calls here. I am just a little bit worried based on the press release and how there is not much at all here. I don't know how this product is gonna play out. What do you guys think? Are you buying it? Do you care about the HomePod? You're gonna get seven so you can do like quadruple stereo pairs. Let me know. Okay guys, thank you so much. I It's like really late here. I know it's early if you're watching this, but I, I gotta go to bed, gotta be up early, it's a whole thing. Okay, love you guys, bye-bye.